5 and her crew not only yielded a treasure trove of technical intelligence, but also opened a window onto life on board the enemy vessels. For the 59 men aboard this Type 9 C U boat, life was cramped, hot, and decidedly unsanitary, not to mention dangerous. The day was divided into four to six hour watches, where enlisted men would literally stand and watch the many dials and gauges essential to the running of the boat. When they could, they ran on the surface, diving only to attack or evade an enemy. Few of the crew, however, saw much of the outside world. The monotony could last for days or weeks, sometimes months, as the crew waited for a target. With an Allied ship in its sights, the U-boat skipper would take position in the conning tower. Here, a rudimentary computer would assist in setting the course and runtime of the U-boat's torpedoes. This information was fed electrically to the torpedoes in their tubes. If man and machine had done their jobs properly, the Allied ship was dead before the torpedo even launched. But as Allied tactics changed to meet the U-boat threat, Life on board the German submarines grew more and more grim. Often, the first warning of trouble came from a radar detector, warning of Allied aircraft in the area. Standard procedure was to dive immediately to 100 meters. Then, they waited, aware that Allied ships or aircraft may be probing the waters with massive soul, listening for any noise in the ocean that only man or his machines could make. The sound of active sonar would chill the blood of any submarine. That meant you were being hunted, and the hunters were close. For many submariners, these were the last sounds they ever heard. It was the lucky few who managed to get their boat to the surface and abandon the ship before the ocean dragged them all to its crushing depths. The crew of the U-505 sank eight Allied ships before being captured by Captain Gallery and his task force. For weeks, sometimes months on end, this was their home. A home they shared with torpedoes, diesel engines, and the constant knowledge that up above, death was stalking. In the end, 70% of the young men who served in the u boats never returned home. Ironically, by capturing the men of the U-505, Dan Gallagher 